This episode is sponsored by Cribble. Stick around after the episode for a message from them. I periodically say that there are four stages of managing cloud infrastructure. The first stage is clicking around in the web console. We've all done this and it really requires no further explanation than that. The second stage is using either CloudFormation or Terraform. These are relatively established mechanisms of configuring a cloud environment. Okay, great. The third stage is using existing programming languages to control your infrastructure via something like the AWS CDK. And the fourth and final stage is clicking around in the web console and then lying about having done it. I call it ClickOps. This is a joke, right? If so, it's not very funny. I assure you that I'm being quite sincere here. And there's a lot of prior art to reference. The interface for standing up a web server was once upon a time a bunch of compiler flags to GCC and a couple of days of your time. In the fullness of history, that evolved a bunch of times, and today it's clicking a checkbox in the S3 console. Yes, yes, and then of course dismissing the 40 screaming warnings that pop up everywhere because there is no reaction quite like an AWS overreaction. Let me give you an example as well. How are you watching this video right now? I'm gonna bet that you're not doing it via a green screen terminal that is doing an ASCII representation of my face. Instead, you click something on YouTube's terrible website or watching it on a mobile app. If I'm wrong on that and you are in fact watching this right now because you explicitly made an API call from code, it is imperative that you do not tell me about it in the comments, in email, or anywhere else, Captain Edgecase. The thing that I can't abide is when something is managed via code or configuration in some form, and we'll call YAML code, because why not, and then a change in a GUI either breaks things or otherwise leads to a divergence in how the system is managed. Um, Nagios, an ancient monitoring system that was once known as the original Call of Duty, originally would let you disable, acknowledge, or trigger alerts from the GUI. But as soon as the service was restarted on the system, any GUI changes would be discarded by like the last remnants of a dream that evaporate when you awaken, and it would just read its config file again. Only slightly better were systems like Puppet or SaltStack or Chef or Ansible. If something was managed via those systems and a human altered it, those systems would then, the next time they ran, revert whatever the human had changed. Fighting with computers never felt more real than it did in those moments. Okay, what about cloud? It was depressingly recently that CloudFormation launched drift detection. Before that feature came out, if a human changed a CloudFormation provisioned resource, any attempt to update or adjust that resource via CloudFormation would fail with an error. Think about that for a second. This did indeed mean that if you clicked a button in the console, you could break your team's ability to manage the environment programmatically. Somehow, this was okay with some people. I'm sorry, but no. Computers inherently simplify over time, and I refuse to believe that YAML is somehow the final form of configuration elegance. Think about this for a second. Would you rather have 14 to 30 lines of white space sensitive text to launch another EC2 instance, or would you prefer to click a button that's marked launch more like this? Well, hang on, you might reasonably object. There is value to having that EC2 instance represented as YAML or JSON or code or absolutely not XML. I can work with it in ways that I can't with imperative commands like button clicks. And you would be correct. That's why the right answer here is to let the user click the button, but then represent the results of that button click in code. We are largely not there yet as a culture. What is the ClickOps future? 
I envision a world in which I can set things up in the AWS console, or really any cloud vendors, via the magic of clicking things. The provider captures what I set up and renders it into code or configuration somewhere, similar to the way that the console recorder browser extension does. The provider becomes aware of what has been provisioned previously, and how, then automatically generates diffs in the correct repository or updates its CloudFormation or Terraform or CDK expression of the environment as it exists at the current moment. Suddenly, using the console would stop being a shameful thing and instead is simply a really good IDE specifically designed for that cloud provider's infrastructure. It makes using the cloud far more accessible. It makes it way harder for users to inadvertently break things and, perhaps most notably of all, reduces the obnoxious amount of gatekeeping in our industry. Welcome to the future. Welcome to ClickOps. And now, a word from our sponsor. Syslog is free because it honestly kind of sucks for analysis. The gold standard in this space is Splunk. The challenge is that deploying Splunk is hard because it's increasingly difficult to find a princess to kidnap for ransom to pay for the thing here in 2022. The solution here is to look into something like Cribble Stream. It filters out extraneous data before sending it to Splunk, since you probably don't need a full fidelity copy of every load balancer health check dating back to 2012. You can route data to the most cost-effective location for it, since inside of Splunk is great when you need it and incredibly overwrought when you don't. That alone gets you 30% or more in savings, but of course there's more. Condense logs into metrics where it makes sense. Reduce the noise to better see the signal. Replay logs to other places when you need to. And stop worrying about the Royal Guard finding you when they're trying to track the princess down. To learn more about Cribble, smash the link, tell them I sent you, tap the like and subscribe buttons as per YouTube norms, and tell them I sent you again. Both you and the princess will sleep way easier.